Alex, thanks for joining cool. me again. Let's, uh, let's talk about another uh, tool recommendation. What did you bring to share this time? I brought Adobe Capture. It wow. is a fantastic app for turning sketches into physical things. Uh, yeah. Adobe Capture is what kind of software? Is it something you run on your computer? It's a phone app. It's a, it's a purely phone app, right? This is the example. Oh, maybe. Yeah. So it <laughs> runs on your phone, and you can basically turn, you take a look at something in the real world, whether it's like a Sharpie sketch, which is what I usually do, uh, or if it's like, for example, this logo, I can just grab this and uh, adjust the contrast a little bit and then take a snapshot, and then I can like crop it. Um, I'm going to do that. And, you know, edit out any, like, erase anything that I need to erase. Um, and then hit the smooth option. And it smooths it out for me. And then I have this. And basically, it enables me to export an SVG or a regular PNG. And that way, I can use it on my Glowforge. I can use it in, I can throw that in a Tinkercad. Uh, you can pull in an SVG and turn it in and just extrude it into a 3D object. Mm -hmm. So, for example, in this skirt that I've done, um, I was like, I drew some feathers with the Sharpie and then 3D printed them onto this fabric. Uh, just like using Tinkercad to turn that SVG into like a two millimeter thick object. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, all kinds of stuff. That's great. And that's, uh, that SVG is the magic file format, right? That's the yeah. one kind of tricky. To just, you know, uh, t take something you've drawn or take a photo of something and have it yeah. turn into an SVG. There are tools like Inkscape that you could kind of pull it into or uh, a formal version of like Adobe Illustrator for your computer that costs a lot of money. And yeah. you can do like a turn bitmap image to paths and then turn that into an SVG. But it's always been like a complicated process. Right? Capture I hate kinda, messing around with vectors. Yeah, Capture kind of it really nails the easy way, and it's free. We should mention that. Uh, and it's Capture free. is a yeah. free app from Adobe that allows you to do many things, but this magical thing where it can take a photo of something, smooth it out, and turn it into a SVG paths file that you can scale up and as big or as small as you want and you can use pull it, you can still put it in Inkscape and like mess around with the paths if you want mm -hmm. but it's such a shortcut yeah it's so good it's it's great and uh there the other cool thing i've used it for is for creating patterns it's, the, it's other Ooh, yeah secret. right yeah so you can uh you can kind of do like a kaleidoscope effect on anything you've drawn or like anything you can just go out and capture something with your camera and then create insane patterns that you can apply then um, on like a I got like a laser yeah. cutter. Um. But this one, you don't even need to have any other Adobe software. You can use it with anything. You just get an SVG. It's not locked into Adobe. It's fantastic. So speaking of other stuff, like I've done, uh, I've used it to create SVGs for embroidering on my embroidery machine mm -hmm. to make patches. I've used it with the Bantam mill to create little uh, basic PCBs. Um, you can just pull that into the Bantam desktop PCB mill software and, uh, yeah, turn it into a, a prototype. It's a really janky prototype. It's like a headband. And so on. I'm not going to try and explain that project right now, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it makes it really easy. Uh, and, yeah, uh, I love it. Yeah, cool. That's a great recommendation. I, I can stand behind that, too. I think if you are an, like a, an artist or someone who works in like digital illustration, there's other aspects to it, too, like the color... Um, capture so, element and you can make your own palettes and there's more to it but for maker for textures. anyone who's using any kind of tool that can use that svg file format it's a real quick way to get that done yeah and the glowforge it turns out just wants like a png or whatever but you can you can have that too it's mm -hmm. it, it'll save it to your camera roll as a png as well if that's what you want like a transparent one it's so good yeah so even for just like erasing the background on something like this like, if you want to get a clean PNG off of a high-contrast image, it's it's great for that, too. All right. Another great recommendation, Alex. Thanks for joining so us good. again. And, uh, yeah, you can find more about Alex uh, in the show notes down here in the bottom. And we'll have links to her social accounts and where you can catch up with what she's doing. Thanks, Donald. Have an awesome weekend. You, too.